Mary and I just went out for a ride and the objective for the video I wanted to make was on the forums I see a lot where people want to get more speed out of their bikes and I know that people that have experience with e-bikes are familiar with the different speeds that you can get out of the different classes the one two and three but a lot of new people they don't know uh, they don't know the speeds that you can attain on these things and if they're shopping for bikes I think they should have something for maybe a reference so what I did was I made a, a video tonight starting at 10 miles an hour and then went up in five mile an hour increments to show you what exactly top speed looks like. So I started at 10, then I went to 15, then I went to 20, then I went to 25, and I thought I'd top out at 28, which is the max speed on my bike, but if I really push it, I can get 30 miles an hour out of it. So I got it up to 30 mile an hour. And if you go back and look at this video and look at 10 miles an hour versus 30 miles an hour, I think you're gonna be pretty surprised if you don't have experience going that fast on an e-bike. So let's take a look. I'm going to go through each of the speeds and then at the end you can make the judgment call on how fast your e-bike needs to go. For reference this is 10 miles an hour. So if I fell off the bike at 10 miles an hour really all I have to worry about is the weight of my body which is 250 pounds hitting the ground. Now what could I break with that? That would be my biggest concern. 10 miles an hour right here. This is 15 miles an hour. So at this speed, if I went down, the speed of the bike is going to accelerate any injuries that I've got. I can almost guarantee that. 15 miles an hour right here. This is 20 miles an hour. And I'm going to the emergency room. If I hit the ground doing this, I'm going to the emergency room. That's all there is to it. This is 25 miles an hour, and I'm gonna, there's going to be a hospital stay involved on this one. This is 25 miles an hour for reference. 25, and Tom's going to be in the hospital for three days. Here comes Maria. She is not participating in the study, so I had to slow down and wait for her. and get this thing up to 28 miles an hour. There's 29, 30 miles an hour. And at this speed, I'm gonna have to utilize my disability insurance. I'm gonna have to buy a new bike and there's gonna be a prolonged absence from work. I don't know when I'm gonna go about 28 or 30 miles an hour on this thing. If I had to go home in a hurry, something like this. But other than that, um, for me, the way I ride, there's no reason for it. If I was commuting more, maybe to work, but where I live now, it's not really practical. Maybe something like that would work. It's definitely a good workout because even getting it up that fast, you've got to get the heart rate going, so that's good. You could do, uh, you could do, uh, you know, get up to 28, 30 miles an hour for a minute or two, and then take it back down to 15 and let your heart recover, and then go back up, do some what circuit training, cycle training, something like that. Uh, whatever they call it, but um, that might be what it's good for. But other than that, this guy's never going 30 miles an hour. So you be the judge. And if you found this video interesting or informative, please do me a favor, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video.